Teleportation sounds simple. You step into a machine, you disappear, you reappear somewhere else. But here's the question that makes teleportation disturbing. Is the person who arrives still you? In real physics, teleportation doesn't move people at all. What scientists can teleport is information, specifically the quantum state of a particle. No matter moves, and it still requires a normal signal to complete the process. So human teleportation belongs to science fiction and philosophy. In those thought experiments, teleporters usually work the same way. They scan your body, record every detail, destroy the original and rebuild a copy somewhere else. From the outside, it looks like travel, but philosophically, something strange happens. The copy wakes up with your memories, your personality, your thoughts. It believes it's you. But if consciousness depends on the continuous physical activity of your brain, then destroying that process, even perfectly, might mean the original person is gone. Some philosophers argue identity isn't about matter at all. Your body changes over time. What matters is the pattern of information. If the pattern survives, then you survive. Others disagree. They argue teleportation is closer to a cloning machine. The original dies, a new person wakes up convinced they're the original. There's no experiment that can settle this thought experiment. The copy will always say, I'm fine. The original can never report back. So teleportation forces a deeper question. What makes you, you? Your body? your brain, or the uninterrupted feeling of being conscious. Until we understand consciousness itself, teleportation remains a perfect illusion. From the outside, it looks like travel. From the inside, no one knows. <laughs>